Meet Mohammed. He's 20, lives in Cairo, and has no fixed income. A few months ago, a stranger approached him, gained his confidence, and promised him a job where he'd earn $3,000 a month. This guy offered me a job in Sharm El Sheikh. He says I had to have a health check and took me to hospital. It was a Friday at 10 a.m. They put me to sleep, and the next morning when I woke up, I had tubes sticking out of my side. They tried to convince me that I'd fallen on a piece of glass. In fact, one of Mohammed's kidneys was removed. A victim of organ trafficking, he's now seeking justice with the help of a lawyer. This happened to Mohammed because he knows nothing about life and is poor. Mohammed didn't go to school, so it's very easy to dupe him. Mohammed wasn't given a choice, but some Egyptians are voluntarily selling their kidneys. Demand is high, and those in need of a transplant are prepared to pay as much as $50,000 per kidney. There's advertisements in newspapers for small ads saying if you want to sell your kidney. Illegal transplants are common, but the authorities have decided it's time for a crackdown. In recent weeks, several private clinics in Cairo have been closed down. What we want is to avoid Egyptian citizens becoming commodities, products or spare parts for foreigners. A strict law which would see those involved in organ trafficking severely punished should be voted on in the spring. But the draft was drawn up 10 years ago and politicians keep coming up with delaying tactics.